Good morning everybody. Thanks for your question Sheridan on my Instagram. I thought instead of writing you an answer I would show you because I've just grabbed my bone broth out of the fridge. You and see you the layer of fat. Now your fat's going to rise to the top as it cools. My broth has been in the fridge overnight so let me just show you now what I do with it. Okay so we'll start with this one. It's easy to remove. You can see that it's solidified on top. I'm just going to cut that in half, basically. And hopefully it's going to come out. So I can show you. Just pop that down the side. Whoops. A bit of spillage. Let's remove that whole piece. And pop it in a dish. So that's going to take up most of your fat. You'll be left with a little bit on top but you can just strain that through if you like. Uh, now this fat, you can see what I'm left with there. I can get my fork and strain out more or put it through a strainer. This fat I keep in the fridge and I use it for cooking. All your broths, you're going to end up with that fat layer on the top. And it's just a really good way of removing it. And now I'll, I'll strain that through if I want to, but I'm going to pop it in the freezer. And just remember, if you are freezing anything, leave a bit of a gap, especially when you're doing it in glass, because that's going to expand and you don't want the glass to crack. So I hope that's helped. We've got our bone broth. I'll repeat that with the other two. And then I'm going to pop one in the fridge and freeze two. So I've got it just on hand for any occasion. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.